Hey everyone, it's Alex and Gia from Rad Tide. We're here today to look at an absolute beast. This is the uh, King Shark, and this is by ATF1. So keep watching, we'll let you know what we think. Yo, yo, welcome to Team Rad Titan. And uh, like Alex was saying, today we're going over the fan art one quarter scale King Shark by ATF1. This is part of their Brawlers line. Um, I fell into this accidentally, actually. I bought a piece from Chris Hayward. You probably all know him from the groups and stuff. Uh, I bought, I traded uh, Ronan, the Accuser uh, piece that they did. Uh, it's the first ever piece from this particular outfit. And I loved the piece. And then I decided I need to find out more. And, you know, I need to get some more. And I need to look around more. And my eyes need to be a bit more open. Um, I got very lucky and managed to grab one of these. Uh, pieces now this is um, this is from like the DC line so this is like uh, you know basically if you've seen the Suicide Squad or you've seen the Flash series um, the Flash series is actually a little bit more accurate to what he looks like the way that this is designed as opposed to the big rounded sort of slow stupid sort of Suicide yeah. Squad um, depiction which I'm not a big fan of it's alone, isn't it? yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. like num 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 all that sort of business. I do that to Jules to wind them up. But yeah, I mean, it's like, um, yeah. So I I found it. I inquired. I spoke to the right people, and I managed to grab myself one of these, which I was really, really happy to get. Um, massive shark fan. Not like uh, you know, he's not a big uh, comic character to me. It was more. Yeah. This is one of the pieces that it's the statue that got me, as opposed to the, loving the character. Um, and it's actually probably one of the best pieces I've bought in the last twelve months. Uh, I really, really love this piece. And when you walk into the room, it absolutely demands all your attention. Uh, we'll start off with the, I think this, the edition size is around, I think it's 30 or 30 or 40 of these made in the world. Um, you get the base, the trident, the flash mask, uh, the switch out um, Aquaman, um, just like the, bit off Aquaman arm and there is a switch out if you don't That's really... like Momoa Aquaman. Yeah it's a Momoa yeah, Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want the um if you don't want the gore you've got just a standard hand mm. like with the glove. Um and that's it. And everything else is as is. So what's um what's this kind of base like this kind of skull islandy kind of yeah, thing? Yeah it's got base? I you know it's because there's, like, there's actually a skull here which I never noticed before. Yeah it's it's almost like the suicide sort of squatty symbol thing. Oh um, okay. It's got like um you know it's got this fantastic water effect on it and it's got this mossy sort of things so you mm. shouldn't touch it like too much because did, that stuff will come off if you yeah, rub yeah. it with your finger so you don't want to really be doing that yeah stop touching um the war effect is some of the best i've ever seen on the statue i mean it really is mm. amazing um as long as you dust it as long as you yeah i mean this has been out <laughs> this is this can't be contained this piece it's so yeah. it's it's out in my collection it's been so it's one of them ones where you know it's going to get a little bit of uh it's going to little but luckily as we've got any mixed media otherwise you know yeah yeah otherwise i need to get my brush out yeah. But yeah, I mean, um, so then you get that, you get the sort of like giant anchor arm, which is awesome. And then, you know, the figure, I mean, I, I think for me, starting from the base up, the, you know, the boots are well sculpted, it's nice work. I, I really, what I like about this company in particular is their use of the, the way that they do this, where they mm. do the sort of line in the boots. Yeah. Um, you know, when you go into it, you, the boots all the way around, you know, the edges there, all the way around it. None of it is sort of like stuck together. None of it is molded together in the mm. sculpt. It's the same with these straps. Well, you know, more, yeah, They're yeah. all well, separate. The straps, the belt. You know, like... the belt, the buckle on the belt, the straps hanging down, the chain that's yeah. near you, Al, on your side there, the big chain, well, the chain hangs down. The chain is not so much as impressive because like you can sort of tell that that's kind of just added after like as, as a kind of plastic chain. But when you kind of look at the uh, this kind of belt hanging down, a lot it's like of, braces, isn't it? It's yeah, like, it's like braces. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Or uh, like climbing kind of gear or whatever, but like uh, like some kind of rig. But then you can see like with this belt and the bit, especially on his ass kind of thing, most other companies would sculpt that into the actual sculpt and the belt as well. If you could look up from here, um, is actually like you could go under the belt. Yeah, like so they the the belt. It's done in quite a risky way where it's actually over the sculpt. Yes. And it does, you know, it's something they don't need to do, but it's something that when they do it, you kind of appreciate that kind yeah, of like that added that, that 5%, 10% to it. Yeah. 
You know, it's, uh, it's the same with this hanging over the top. It comes over his waist and hangs yeah. over the, the, his ripped trousers. Is 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 this like he comes off here? Is that like where he joins? No, joins? it doesn't. It's one piece. Oh wow! It's one solid piece. Okay, There's I would no... have folded the torso. Yeah, with... you would have done because that of the way that that has the parts overlapping. It would have been an extra part. Okay. No, it's not. That's, there's none of that. Okay. And then you get into sort of like you know. You've got the ripped off sort of like film Aquaman arm, mm. which I just think that's awesome. And then you get up to the sort of body. And I actually, one of my favorite parts is how they've merged the sort of the gray and the uh, flesh the, and yeah. the fleshy bit at the front. I really like how they've done that. The transition between the two, I really Especially, like. Yeah, like over the, the kind of traps as well, looks great. Yeah, the and then you've got kind of like the, the scar damages and bite marks and holes in him mm. and all that kind of business. Like, a pro, you know, if you watch sharks and stuff, it's how like sharks look. And they have yeah. all these marks. He's got a big bite around his shoulder. He's got a big scar down his face, like slices down his face. Yeah. You know, it's all very, very impressive to me. I, 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 I really do like this one. For me, I mean, I know absolutely nothing about the character. Even the Suicide Squad kind of movie, I did see it. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the newest one either, which everyone was going on was great. I, I, yeah, I, I, I found it a bit shit, to be honest with both of them. But yeah. Um, so the character, I don't really know. I know that you've always been a massive fan of sharks, so mm. kind of when this did come up, I was a bit like, "Yeah, I bet he's going to get that." Even though, and then when you even said, "I'm going to get it," and then I kind of said to you, "Well, make sure you you're sure because when you sort of buy a character that you're not in invested with. in, yeah, you're kind of he's, he's going to leave your collection. It just happens pretty fast, isn't it? Yeah, and I think fast. with your love of sharks and whatever else, like I think he's going to stay here. Uh, well, I just really like this piece. I really like what they did with the sculpt of it. And I really, I mean, this is one of them ones. It's funny because when I talk, talk to the commissioner, this is one that nearly got cancelled. This project mm. nearly got cancelled. But then after the fact, as he gets the most attention, like most, most amount of people saying, have you still got it? Yeah. yeah That's yeah. what he said. He, can't, he couldn't believe it. He said, I can't believe how many people love this piece because this was one I was going to abandon. Mm. I was going to like, I was going to quit it. I like the difference in the moss, actually. I just noticed there's two types, aren't there? There's like the wet type and the dry type. Yeah. I like the wet type, actually. It's quite good, because then obviously that's not coming off. Yeah, it's a bit better, that one, that, yeah. in terms of... I mean, it, it it just adds... That mossy thing just yeah, adds yeah. to the, sort of the look. You just don't want to be touching it and messing about with it, really, because mm. it will come off. It looks like the kind of stuff you get from uh, kind of Games Workshop. It's not, it I'm, not, I'm not saying it's uh, not, in a bad, not in a bad way. I have no idea. Games Workshop paints are great. It's a nice add to it. You know, I don't, I don't see this as a big, like, you know, some people would see this as an annoyance, but I actually think it adds a lot of stuff to it. I well, I think if it didn't have it, and you just had this big kind of grey rock base, uh, even with the wet... Yeah, I but think, it's got good think, highlighting in it. Like, all the edges are done. No, that's something you wouldn't ever get with, like... That's the thing, when you get, a, like, a company piece, that's where they miss. No, but I'm saying... All the edging but... of these stones has all been highlighted and done, so mm. you, ha you have some... Like lighter greys and some whites. That's the part that no, no, but the, the fact that that's the part that licensed companies always can't be bothered with. They no, spray the whole though, bloody with piece with the um, with the moss though. Yeah, if it didn't have the moss, I think it might even with that kind of separate, it might still be a bit just too much grey and too big. And I think the moss does do a good job of kind of breaking that down, breaking yeah, it, it breaks up. up nice. And it's especially with the kind of wet moss, dry moss. You yeah, know, you got like like loads of different levels there. As you say, I mean with the boots. Kind of going in there, yeah, great round here where you got the space there. I like um, that they do that. That's mm. one of the parts of their stuff that I really like. Yeah. They don't they don't sort of half ass that. You know, when people talk about like the Cyclops from XM and they say, you know, that his his straps go into his body, yeah. into the into the sculpt, that you'll never find that with ATF pieces. They well, always if, um, do they always bring them out so it looks it looks a lot better. One of my dream pieces, which actually I got and then when it came in, they 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 did that was um, Guyver three. They had it so that his arms are like that. Yeah. And then they had his hand actually indented in, yeah, in his bicep so when he's meant to be so like so annoying, isn't it? It's, it it really ruins spoils it, doesn't it? it? Just that sort of little things like that. I really like like sort of the trousers and stuff. I think the battle damage on the knees could be a little bit better. I think they mm. could have done a better job with that. I think like yeah, it looks very you, superficial on there. Like there are sculpted scratches. There are proper stuff, but they've overlapped yeah. it a bit. I think, think it looks like, a bit watered uh, down. This is done in a way... It's fleshy. Where it's fleshy, where it looks like it's a graze from the trousers. And it's, that, was, that would be higher than the flesh still. Sure. That should be a bit lower. 
but more of a. So that one doesn't bother me. The, the 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 little bit of the blood around sort of the edging of the knees is a little. But that, that's the only part mm. of it that for me, I really love what they've done with the scars and the fact that the scars are a slightly different colour to the rest of the, the the paints, so they stand out a lot. Mm. I really like that. I like the battle damage on him. I love I love the fin. I love the sculpt. I think it's I think it's top really. I think it's a really impressive sort of statue. I think the um, if you look at like the body. Yeah. Um, the, the whole front of this body looks fantastic. The whole kind of pinks and the way I'm holding it, by the way. So yeah, so I was just oh, adjusting that. So like the pinks and stuff, I've done really, really well. And then like you know the scarring, um, you know, it's done really, really well. And the face is, your face is awesome. The teeth probably wouldn't really, like really the teeth done. a little whiter. Um, I would have had the teeth. Yeah. You know, the, 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 I would have probably just done like because shark teeth is, is white. Yeah. You know, they've 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 tried to be a little too smart with that to put a little bit of sort of like uh, separation in it. But I think they should be brilliant white. Mm. You know, and all the separate, all the scars on his face, the splits in his face done really well. I think um, my, one, one of the things I don't like, I think like, the, as I said, the actual, the, shark, the King Shark is done really, really well. Mm -hmm. I think that this arm could be painted better. The or arm? The only, the only way you can kind of, you can justify it. Cause I mean, the, the, the arm's a bit dull. I guess yeah. you could say, well, he's dead, and he's been dead maybe a little bit. But yeah. I think it's meant to be that he's just been ripped off. So the actual, like, tattoo is a bit, like, um, uh, kind of, like... I think the paint is heavy on this hand. And also, I think that the paint on the run, the nails and things is heavy. And also the problem is, is, like, tattoos don't raise like that unless you have them done really badly. Unless yeah. you go to... But that's, uh, obviously, that's, that's the sculpt, isn't it? Yeah. It's sculpted in as opposed to... A, a, a fresh arm mm. and then stenciled on. Yeah. So the, the way that this has been done is that's been put into the sculpt. Yeah. And uh, the detailing have. has been put into the sculpt so it's a bit more bumped up. Yeah. But so it, that's, that's what I'm they, saying. The tattoo shouldn't be like that because yeah, that's, unless that's, you have that it factory done, cost would be expensive. Unless you have it done by someone like Kevin Angel. Yeah, you, 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 need, <laughs> yeah you, need, you need factory. You, that would cost yeah, a lot. Yeah. But to do that, to do what you're saying, that's too, that's too much cost. Mm. To be like, you know, put the stencil on it and paint it all over it and make mm. it look really... But that's just like I that's... like that, that it's got, you know, I mean, I like the fact that that's on there. I don't. I that... like the battle damage on it and I like the fact that it's got a little nod to like ripping Aquaman's like yeah. sort of arm off. I, I, I like that. No, but I'm just saying it just bothers me because I do have a bad tattoo uh, that's really, really raised. Yeah. And I don't know that that's a bad tattoo and it's not meant to be that way. So, like, <laughs> somebody's spending to see too it. much time in water, Aquaman, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's using a cane needle on it. It is. So. The funny thing is, is that I thought when I saw it as well, I was a bit like, why is it grey? Isn't it meant to be black? But mm. then I watched the film and it isn't. It actually is. No, no, it's, it's kind of like, you know, when you get the black and it kind of goes a bit like over time. But it's just because it's raised that bothers me a little bit. But it's, it's, it's minor, anyways. It's just not, it's not a big deal. Again, the anchor on that looks great. The kind of. Uh, Metallic on that with the um, rope, ropes, yeah, kind of wrapping round. Uh, I like that. This is all bumped up as well. All the Arkham stuff, the writing on his trousers and the Arkham symbol on his mm. bum. That's all all raised up. It's all sculpted in. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. That's, with that's, it. that's the main thing that bothers me. Is the arm? I think could be a bit better. Let's just change it. And the fact that just you put the put the other hand in there. And the other thing that bothers me is the fact you haven't fucking dusted it. <laughs> you fucking I've lazy just, son of I've bitch. just brought it in. I've dusted it before I put it back. But you know this. This is a piece that, you know, you, it's so big. Mm. You know, it's like, it's like 29 inches tall. I don't know what it is width-wise, but depth with that. With that um, I like that as well. The flash head's wicked. But, you know, behind there, you know, the, the width, the, the depth of that is it's like 20, 24. Mm. It's 24 deep. I mean, is this actually like a core scale? Or is it a bit big? Or? Oh, what, you mean like the flash helmet mm. and stuff? I don't know, really. I mean, it probably is to fit with this. Yeah, I would probably if I took that helmet off and put it onto a flash, I think that goes straight over his head without any problems. Mm. But yeah, definitely, I think the scale, the scale. I mean, this is like a proper massive trident. Yeah, it's a massive trident, massive um, thing. So it's meant to fit in with with him, isn't it? And he's massive. Because I think that don't looks... do that. That doesn't that doesn't come off like that. Okay. Don't do that. Don't touch. Well, I'm trying to don't let, let go of it without it falling down. Doesn't go like that. You take the top part off it and then you lift the, the helmet off and then you put it okay. back. So, you know, this is why when it's not your statue, you shouldn't touch it ever because you didn't put it together so you don't know how it works. I had to made that mistake with uh, with Moon Knight once. I completely forgot where his hands came off and came a thing and I dropped one of the things. 
Oh, well, and that was like I'm stupid. That and that was, that's one I put together and still made that mistake. <laughs> I was like, oh, it comes off there. And it didn't. I was like, oh, no. But that's what happens. Yeah, this sort of comes off. And it's Don't sort you ever of, fucking talk to me like that on film again, all right? It, uh, you've <laughs> messed it up now. Look, you're messing with my stuff. Look, messing it all up. There you go. I know you're going to pretend, pretend like you didn't hear me there. Um. <laughs> Best I don't hear you, mate, for your sake. And then it goes into this sort of like free mm. hold prong at an angle, which is pretty cool. Anyway, it's, it's, it's a cool piece, man. Did so you measure you, it or did you just fuck it around with the table? I right? said it's, a, it's, 20, it's about 29 inches tall. It's around 24 inches deep. Uh, width wise, it's I don't think it's that bad. It's the it's the base, which is around fifteen. Is this the one he told you to fit the deed off? Nah, the, colo- the juggernaut is way fucked me. That's how you well fucked. Yeah, but that's me. even bigger than this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is about like uh, it's about eighteen inches wide. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah. It's massive. Do you know like so it's like twenty nine, yeah. twenty four, at least eighteen wide. So it's, it's one a, of the it's things as well that like is quite impressive is literally and. Again, is one of those things about don't touch someone else's statue because I think that there would be someone who would literally come in and go like, oh, look, can you actually do his belt up? And they would yeah, think you could probably do it. it. Yeah, like, yeah, try and yeah. put it over. Yeah. That literally looks like like it would be a belt, like a material belt and that would lift up and plug in. Yeah, it yeah. does. It doesn't, but I know. I know, I know. I know. But like, I'm just turning When I op- unboxed it, it was facing up. Yeah. And that was the first thing I saw. And I was like, oh, it's un- unclipped itself. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I was a bit like, I had, a, I had a closer look at it. But yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Mm. Yeah, I think it, I, I think. I do think job. the strongest part of it, though, is is, is his paint on his on, the, on this upper torso. I think he's done. I like the really sculpt. Well. The sculpt like, is my favorite. I like part. all of the, yeah, from here, like the traps, even the chest, all this kind of area. As you say, where it kind of blends, yeah, yeah. It goes across, and then you've got this kind of scar here where he's been bitten. Yeah, one like, little bit there as well, isn't it? Like yeah, that, yeah. across there. What do you call that with the uh, so, uh, Serratus. keloid? Keloid? Keloid scarring, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, he has all of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sort of across one across his bicep. He's got one across his like. His, and then I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you ain't done that little uh, jaws one for the eyes. Oh yeah, like a doll's like eyes. A doll's eyes. See, yeah. they are. It's black, it's black and shiny. They're perfect. Mm. We're gonna wind up the teeth a little bit, and maybe tone down a little bit of them the redness in them gums. Just a touch. Just a touch. Right. Touch, touch. But other than that. I wouldn't, there's not much else I'm unhappy with. So, yeah, it's a big win for me, this one. So, uh, let me know what you guys think anyway, you know. Yeah. Do you have any pieces in your collection that's more about the statue than it is about the actual character? Or, you know, is this is this a rarity? Yeah. Anyway, thanks for all the love and support. Please like the video, share it with everyone you know, and subscribe if you haven't already. And God bless you. Best of luck in 2024. Happy collecting. This will probably be posted in 2025 after I have a baby. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>